Most of the week, uh, Trump's possible impeachment has been dominating the political headlines. You can still voice your opinion by going to dblvote.com. So let us know, should the president be impeached in your opinion? Now it's time to hear from you in today's fifth host. So let's get right to your comments. Take it away, Erica. Tony says, if found guilty of not upholding his oath to our Constitution, do it. Otherwise, get on with people's business. Um, I just, I think it's important to hold people accountable. And I really do think that this isn't a great issue. I think it's very black and white. Did he violate the oath of the office or did he not? And if he violated the oath of the office, then we need to move forward with the impeachment. Same as any other president, past, present, future. Uh, Susan says, no, mainstream media drives the narrative of the left and always wants to make a mountain out of an anthill. I think it's mohill, right? Make Sounds a mountain like out of a mohill? It's like a Sam <laughs> comment. So I agree with you. Uh, so, uh, social media, everyone drives the narrative to the left, but it also drives it to the right. So you have to look in between the lines and see what's right. And don't you want what's right for our government? Regardless of what side you're on, regardless of who the president is, don't you want what's right? Let's get to the bottom of this, like your person said, Erica, like Tony said, and let's move on. Absolutely. Uh, Jeffrey says this is the second time he has asked a foreign government to interfere in our democracy. No matter what party you're in, this should offend you. I, I look at it like he is, I mean, he's come out a couple months uh, earlier. We did the story about how he's come out and said that he would ask a foreign government to get dirt on, on a political rival. So I'm with you guys. Let's, let's the facts come out. I don't want to listen to the left. I don't want to listen to the right. I want to listen to facts before we, we impeach or we don't impeach. Well said. John says, no, he should not be impeached. And the no's have it by a long shot. The Dems have tied up our government and public funds on a witch hunt that's lasted nearly three years. This is what I fear. I fear that no matter what, or if you're a Republican or a Democrat, that you're only going to listen to those talking points and you will not even look at the facts. So I'm open-minded. I'm going to wait uh, and find out what those facts are. And I just want to weed all of them out, whether it be Joe Biden, whether it be Hillary Clinton, whether yeah. it be Donald Trump. I'm ready for our leaders to actually be authentic, honest individuals. And I feel like we haven't had that in a really long time. Yeah. Lizzie says, turning a blind eye to this will be the beginning of our last days as a great nation. No one, not even the president of the United States, is above the law. My gratitude is to the whistleblower. Uh, Lizzie, I appreciate your comments, and I think we have all seen what happens when miscarriages of justice actually catch up with us. It means that there has to be a leveling out of some sort. My fear is that we are going to have our egos driving this more than what's great for our country. And I just hope that it's not the end of us. I know, well said. Well, thank you for writing in DBL Nation. We do love hearing from you. Uh, we've been tracking your vote all hours. Should the president be impeached? Let's look one last time. See, can you believe that? It just keeps sticking right to that middle ground. Yeah. Nothing is changing. I believe even if facts come out, people are still going to be blind to their political party. And I think that's going to be uh, the death of us. I really do. So, well, there you have it. 49% yes, 51% no.